Squirt, squirt, up on that scene. Hop out, engine looking clean. All right, what's up, guys? Poison here, and I'm back with more uh, quick play. So, real quick, we're kind of past our checkpoint, a little bit before our checkpoint, technically. So, we're going on, we're gonna keep playing. Um, one thing though, when I started the game and asked me if I wanted to play on normal or easy, and after just yesterday's video, I'm like, you know what, I'll just play on easy, it's whatever, you know? Wait, yeah, whatever. I don't really care about doing that stupid trigger pull thing where it's like, oh, you gotta pull the trigger perfectly. Um, yeah, we're playing on, you know, just easy. I just wanna, you know, I don't really wanna be forced to be like, oh, this game's not, this game isn't difficult, but I don't wanna have to deal with, oh, uh, I keep messing up because, you know, I, you know, I just keep messing up. So we're just here, I'm playing on easy, you know, say what you will. I'm not really here to like try to rush, or I am here to rush a game. I'm not here to like struggle through a game. So, um, with that being said, I want to talk about something. So earlier, since today is Friday, earlier today, I did actually end up putting out a new, um, Payday 2 video because, uh, Payday 2 had a new, um, DLC go out yesterday and I recorded a video on, well, yesterday actually, and I put the video out this morning, um, that being said, there still is going to be a Payday 2 video tomorrow along with DMC so we can hopefully finish it so we can move on with Doom. Um, the Payday 2 video is actually a new heist. It is actually the Brooklyn Bank heist. Um, nothing really special here. It's not like a DLC tie-in. It's just, you know, a heist where you had to break into a ho or you had to break into a bank in Brooklyn and buried underneath the um, safe is actually, uh, what was it? It was, um, it's a medallion you have to take take and like i'm saying if you guys you know saw the video earlier you know let me know what you guys think um i just want to talk about a few parts i kind of forgot to mention in the video first part i really forgot to mention was um or like the ending was so abrupt um so from what i saw that heist is actually really good for money it's really good for um xp mainly money though if you need money it's a really good heist to do Snap neck, snap neck. We're not here to like do a pacifist run. We're not playing um, what's that game? We're not playing uh Dishonored. We could kill people if you want. While in Dishonored, if you kill people, it's gonna end badly because then hey, you're gonna have more enemies to fight towards the end. Um, stand up, Mister Forty Seven. I don't really care, honestly. Like I said, we're just here. We're going to lose a lot of points. This game doesn't want you to just run around murdering people. This game wants you to, uh, you know, be more pacifist. Why do I still have this gun? I should have the Jag uh, 226. Yeah, everything's clear. Um, let's move on. Wait, what's this? Key card. We need the key card. Yep, let's move on. Yeah, um, this game wants you to play more like uh, pacifist style, more secret, more, hey, no killing. I don't really care for that. I'm honestly here to like just kill pretty much. That's just pretty much how I'm gonna play through this game. Um Hell, what can I say? We're just gonna Oh damn, I wasn't expecting that actually. Come on, stand up. Oh, we just we just emptied shells into him, dude. It's like whatever. Uh clear, where do we have to go now? Mission ground floor. What is this? This is the chef, right? Yeah, whatever. Um, should we need to go to the store? One thing I want to talk about though, um, this is based around YouTube and my viewing habits, so... Is it above? What the hell's going on? Where am I going? Um... Unlock! Yeah, I was right above us. I didn't even see this door. Um, so recently on YouTube, I don't know what caused me to start watching these videos, but I've been seeing a lot of insurance fraud videos of people you know who like do hit and runs or people who pretend to get hit or people who purposefully get hit to try to be like oh they ran into me and it's just like it just takes me to my car accident two months ago it makes me think like you know what I really need to get a dash cam because there's a lot of bullshit going on like especially revolving around my uh accident I'm pretty sure from what this letter is telling me from what this letter I recently received from my insurance company it looks like the woman might actually be trying to sue me. And it's kind of stupid because honestly, I'm just going to say it. This person's being a money hungry bitch. Straight out. Like, I'm sorry. I don't want to be rude. But seriously, she's being a money hungry bitch. Her insurance is actually going to pay for her car to be fixed. My insurance basically said, go fuck yourself. You have to pay out of pocket for your car to be fixed. So this woman is getting her car fixed. Yet she still wants to come after me for money. 
And it's just like, what the fuck? Are you serious? Like, one, I don't have much money at all, honestly. You know, I don't have a lot of money. I'm, you know, have fun trying to get shit at me. But it's just like, why are you being so fucking money hungry? I'm, you know, your car's getting fixed. Why are you still going to come after me for money? And it's like, oh, because she's supposedly pregnant. I don't really care, you know. But it's like, you know, she's claiming that she has bodily pain. I have bodily pain, too, since the accident. It's just like, seriously, I wasn't going to sue her. I wasn't going to go after her. I honestly was just going to be like, hey, you leave me alone. I don't care. You're out of my life. You know, and after I was told, hey, yeah, we're not going to help you for your car. I was like, okay, so that means we're done here, right? And my insurance person was like, yeah, we're done. So I was hoping, hey, this person's out of my life. Good. I don't have to worry about them. But no, recently I ended up getting the letter being like, hey, yeah, uh, she might come after you. So I have to look for a lawyer now. And it's just like, you know, even though people are saying it's my fault, I honestly feel it wasn't my fault because I never even made it into the street. Truthfully, I was still in the bike lane when the accident happened and I was just thinking like, you know, if I had a fucking dash cam, I could have proved my innocence instead of having to think like, oh, am I going to get boned here? And I'm just thinking like, you know, I don't have money for a dash cam. I'm barely going to have money for a fucking lawyer. I That's something I need to do. It's not something I can skimp on. So like money, you know, I'm expecting some pretty good paychecks coming soon, especially with me working on the 24th. I'm getting um, holiday pay. So, you know, I'm expecting good money, but... I can't buy shit. I have to be fucking careful with this money. It has to go towards a lawyer. Or it has to go towards whatever to get this case out of the way. You know, I really wanted to sit down and buy a new microphone. I really wanted to do all this shit. But it's like, I f pretty much can't at this point. I'm getting screwed over. Um, and I'm thinking like, you know, I don't have money for a dash cam. Like, there's a few good dash cams that I saw. Like, a hundred. And then there's a good one that a bunch of car YouTubers are promoting. That's for like 200. It's like 150, 200. And, you know, I really want to buy it but it's like dude i can't you know i need to get this case out of my way i'm thinking i'm like i might just you know buy my or i might just use my note for you know figure out how to uh just figure out how to actually keep my note for like you know take everything off the phone um put it into like you know put everything on a memory card and just have my note for constantly running as a uh, dash cam and it could be done i know it can Ooh, let's take his gun. Swiss 3000. He has a sniper up here somewhere. Yee, he's got this snipper riffle. I don't know who the hell I'm killing, honestly. I'm just like... Gasoline can, don't really care. Clear. So, we got... I don't want to shoot at anyone, because it might mess up. Alright, so wait. suspicious are you a target I think that will, the king of Chinatown eliminated sweet so that was my target I don't want to cap this guy in front of someone because I'm like oh what if I mess up and accidentally kill a, a civilian or something Aw, oh, dude. Every bullet has found its fucking target. Let him open this door. Let him open this door, dude. They're gonna come through this door. Watch. Oh, yeah. I can see it on the mini-map. Are they coming up the stairs? Looks like they're coming up the stairs. But, yeah. I'm pretty much just gonna try to figure out a way to use my Note 4 as, um... A honest-to-God dash cam. Because, like I'm saying, there's just a lot of things going on that's like, why am I really trying to get screwed here? Like... Seriously, your car's going to be fixed and everything, but you're still going to be a money-hungry bitch and try to come after me, like... A lot of BS, who knows? Maybe the case might be dropped, I'm not sure, but just right now, from what I'm seeing, she's trying to come after me, and it's like, really, bitch? Can you just hop out of my life, seriously? Get out of my life, I'll be happy. I don't really want to, uh... You know, I don't want to fucking go to court at all. You know, it's just... Why am I going to court, seriously? Especially when your ass was speeding coming up to a fucking stop sign, too. And it's like, if she really wants to go, I have two witnesses that could prove my innocence, too. Because I'm saying, they're accusing me of speeding out of a complete stop. I'm like, one, if I was speeding, you would have hit me more. Like, if I was speeding, it wouldn't have been the accident it was. It would have been way worse, honestly. But, whatever. My insurance company basically screwed me over. They didn't consult me. They're like, yeah, you know, we're just going to take responsibility. I'm like, that's bad. BS, don't you think? You know? 
Especially because I have evidence that shows that, hey, I shouldn't have even gotten hit. But you guys are really just going to be like, oh, yeah, it's his fault. Come on, dude. Don't run. We got 150 for a headshot, but minus 250. Oh, non-target casualty. Oops. Nope. It's a quick time event. I forgot about these events. I forgot there's quick time events here. Can I can I exit? Exit locked. Oh, I gotta kill all the enemies. Okay. But um Yeah, that's pretty much going on in life. Uh I'm gonna finish this up. Uh we're already at the end. I wanna at least get to the next part to save it, and then I'm actually gonna continue on and I'm gonna record um Devil May Cry. Previous score. Alright, so we gotta kill everyone here. Is that seriously what's going on? Dude, I don't think I'm gonna have enough bullets. Bullets fly, legs buckle. Oh, we're clear. Okay, sweet. <laughs> I was about to start singing Thousand Rounds by Puya and Ghost Mane, but no, we're already done, so we don't gotta do that. But, yeah, guys, that's pretty much what's going on. It's a lot of a BS, but... Who knows? Maybe it could be overturned. Maybe I'm clear. I don't know. We're gonna have to figure it out. So, guys, until next time, I will actually see you guys tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. with another episode of Payday 2. It's a perk deck video. Then at around, what is it, 3 or 5, we'll be back with DMC. Sunday, we'll obviously have Android time, even though I'm not going to be here. We'll talk about that more in tomorrow's DMC. And on Monday, we'll be back with more Hitman. So until then, have an awesome day. Thank you for watching. Bye.